So as a young guy, you always live in your father's house. Huh? Yeah. Every, every single day you wake up. But the only thing that guarantees you to live in that house huh, mm-hmm. is following your father's command. Because mm-hmm. he will tell you, don't do this, do this. Mm-hmm. Walk in this and do this. But he's giving you these commands so that you don't hurt yourself. Yes. And he's giving you these commands mm-hmm. so that in the near future, mm-hmm. you will reap the harvest of goodness follow you at the end of it yeah so what makes us to live good life in our father's and mother's house mm-hmm. is in keeping in line with the word that they teach us exactly and what we get after we get out of their houses to our own homes mm-hmm. and building our own family mm-hmm. we live the teachings and the law that they've left in our heart yeah therefore ladies and gentlemen we bring to you another episode right here at live nation these mm-hmm is power packed and i want you to listen to this one as we have begun it mm. for you to live a successful and good fruitful life on this earth mm. this is the way that you're going to have to follow well wow. wide the only people that succeed and have abundance of whatever they seek for in this life the people who have abide mm-hmm. taking time to dwell maybe they are abiding in the books and studying at the end of it they get good good, good grades Mm-hmm. The people who abided in relationship by abiding to the woman or the man they love, at the end of it, they had a successful marriage. Mm-hmm. And the people who abided in the love of God, mm-hmm. at the end of it, was the good success, riches, and good fortune, fortune. name added to them. Yeah. So they are asking and going to dive deep into understanding what is the abundance and the blessing that comes with abiding in him. As he said, abide in me and God abide in you yes. shall bear much root. Welcome my brother right here to share this. Get to learn from each other. Also join us in the comment section to share your thoughts on the same. Welcome. Thank you. We are reading from the book of John. This is a story that is well known to everyone who reads this Bible. Mm -hmm. And it is a teaching of Jesus himself. And the Bible says in the book of uh, John 15, I would like to, even if it's just some few of verses, and I know the Lord will be of great blessing upon our lives. Mm-hmm. I am the vine, that is verse 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he mm-hmm. takes away. And every branch that does, does bear fruit, mm-hmm. he prunes, mm-hmm. that it may bear more fruit. Already, you are clean because mm-hmm. of the word. That I have spoken to you. Abind in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruits by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, mm. you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If you does not abide in me, he is, th- is thrown away like a branch and the withers and the branches are gathered, thrown in the fire mm-hmm. and burned. If you abide in me, and this abide in me is, is repeated. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, mm-hmm. ask whatever you wish mm-hmm. and it shall be done for you for you by this my father is glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples okay abiding in him abiding abiding and as you have done the introduction you have to abide in something for you to get a success of it and today we are giving our reference from the Bible whereby we abide in Christ. Okay. In abiding in Christ, this is where our affections are transformed. Our minds are filled. So every good thought that you get that can transform your life, it has to come from Christ mm. who you are connected to. Because it is not you who is living, but him living in you. Wow. Yes. We go. Good example, we take it from our normal life experiences. Mm-hmm. The word says, abide in me and my word abide in you. Mm-hmm. It's like a father telling his son, mm-hmm. you are my son, listen to my commandment. Mm-hmm. 
abiding me and my word abiding me. Yeah. You are my son. Mm-hmm. Listen to my teaching. Mm-hmm. Whoever abides in me, if you are my son mm-hmm. and my laws are works with you yeah you will have a good life mm-hmm. and apart from the laws mm-hmm. the things i've lived for 80 years as your father mm-hmm. i've known and experienced mm-hmm. if you not follow what i teach you mm-hmm. guarantee succeed yeah if we are going to rephrase that word mm-hmm. the father speaking to the son yeah. saying this is my house mm-hmm. and for you to enjoy the goodness of this house that i've given you the earth is a house that god has given Mm. even mm. if you're going to enjoy the goodness of this house I'm giving this house remember it's built on my principles mm-hmm. and these principles is what I have taught you as a lesson mm-hmm. in word form and I have taught you yeah and you have known you have dwelt mm-hmm. and because of what I've taught you and how I've led you to live mm-hmm. the people outside will always identify you in reference to me mm-hmm. because when you stand outside there when they see you they will see me only if you follow my teach yeah so go back to Jesus and the disciple Peter walking to the fire with the, the chief's guard huh? mm-hmm. sitting there and because he has been in step with Jesus mm-hmm. teaching and doing and seeing what he did he was a fisherman initially but yeah. the fisherman was killed because he abode yeah in with Christ. Yes. And he followed the teaching. Yeah. So the teaching took over. Mm-hmm. And when he walked, he walked in reference of the teachings they are speaking in it. Yeah. Master told me to walk in love in harmony with everybody. Well, others are shouting and chanting in silence yeah. because the word that he was taught is still speaking within him. So the law of God helps us to live the abundance that God expects us to live mm-hmm. on the earth. Yeah. Only if you abide. Abiding means dwelling. Mm-hmm. This is where I belong. I yeah. should be here mm-hmm. doing this mm-hmm. at this time with this time these people so that I can get that. Who wow. say apart from you you have nothing, right? Yeah. But that's telling the son if you do not follow these rules, mm-hmm. life is good. Because mm-hmm. What is spoken out is part of that person. When somebody speaks to you from their heart, they are transferring themselves a piece of themselves to you. Yeah. So you will walk with that piece. That's why when you are doing something, the voice speaks. Mm. Because you are walking with the piece of that person. Mm-hmm. That's why that voice will never speak as a voice. You will always see the face. Mm-hmm. That's why the moment we read the word of God, mm-hmm. now the word of God is transferred speaking as so you will, you will see god's voice speaking. speaking to us that's why when uh, moses was there when god was giving him moses the commandments the bible says that and if you shall obey my commandments and keep them then this blessing shall follow you follow it. okay whoever was speaking is not there by that moment but because you are reading this it is him speaking through the, the words that, that was reading. the same uh-huh. applies to jesus jesus now is saying unless you abide in me mm-hmm. you cannot bear fruit so for you for our for one to bear fruits as to be connected to the to the vine then the vine must be connected to the ground uh-huh. then this man will be like a tree that is planted beside the rivers of water uh-huh. because you will bear fruit at your own time now this fruit that we are talking that you are bearing they are the fruits of the spirit that now people can see manifest outside Mm-hmm. love kindness self control uh, long suffering all these the fruits of the spirit mm-hmm. and they, they are coming because you are connected to Jesus who is the giver uh-huh. then the bible again it says that and uh, every branch in me that bears not fruits mm-hmm. so it means that there are people in the body of Christ but they are not bearing fruits Then he says that this one will be pruned. You are gifted but you are not bearing much fruit. Then that gifting Lord transfers to another person 
to bear fruit. And then the ones who are bearing the fruits, he prunes. Okay, there are three things that happen mm. in uh, abiding in Christ. Mm. Number one, we have fruitfulness. Number two, there is pruning. Then there is number three, we have got uh, dependence. Mm-hmm. Okay, when you talk about fruitfulness, it is something that men will see. Because you are living with Christ. You are living in Christ mm. and him in you. Then there are fruits that will be born. Evident. Exactly. Uh, when we talk about pruning, pruning is a, a season whereby you might find that there are things that can hinder you not to bear much fruit. Okay. Yes, you are born again. Yes, you go to church. But we, you have some things that we call them weaknesses weaknesses of men oh my weakness is to get hungry my weakness my weakness some weaknesses now during this period of pruning because this is the time that one will you will feel like hey god is like god is far from me it is like god has no things are not working out even though you are trusting god for everything but it seems like things are not working out but god is taking some things out of you so that the end result of what will, will come out of you will be more glorious. glorious. Mm. Then, number three, we have the dependence. The dependence is, the, is, is that minus Jesus, you wither away. Then you'll be like, like the, 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 the branches which are cast to fire. To fire. fire. So now, when you have Christ, when you are abiding in Christ, living in his word, being transformed, now you will have to depend on him 100%. When you are talking about depending on Christ fully, this one gives us that you have got no any other option whatsoever. Okay. Anyone who has got an option does not depend on God 100%. Some depend on the chariot, some depend on their strength, some depend on their money, some depend on what they have. But the word of God tells us that we depend on Christ alone, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. So we know minus Jesus, we are done. Okay, no Jesus, no life. Mm -hmm. No Christ, no fruits. Uh Ah, no roots of Christ in us, no bearing at your own time. So when we are encouraging to keep on abiding in Christ, it is the high time, even at this end time, whereby people will depend much on what they see, they depend much on what they get, they depend much on what they think is the best, whereby the full the the wisdom of men is foolishness to God, and the where the wisdom of men ends is where the foolishness of God starts. Now tell me, if I even if I may ask a simple question to you who is watching, if you are wise and you are where your wisdom ends, it is where the foolishness of God starts. Where do you what do you think about the wisdom of God? unimaginable that's why the more you try to think about who god is how god looks like how god is the more you think the more you are getting lost the more you try to think about it the more you are getting lost so that's why the jesus wants us to depend fully on him yes Mm -hmm. yes jesus is telling us i am the principles of life Mm -hmm. from the principle of success Mm -hmm principle of goodness mm-hmm. apart from me apart from me the principle of all this will not reach the destination yeah so you have to follow my laws you mm-hmm. have to follow my words you mm-hmm. have to follow me yeah you no know where it is i am fullness of all things because he is the fullness of all things mm-hmm. so i'll just put it as a normal as an example if you're a disobedient child in your father's house will cast you away mm-hmm. Even if you're underage, you maybe send you to a far, far place to mm-hmm. live with your aunties or uncles. Yeah. Just to move there. Mm. The disturbance. Exactly. 
but god cannot cast you away mm. god will release you when he release you from and the devil is always waiting yeah for god's hand to be moved away from you he will work on you seriously mm. so apart from him you can do nothing exactly. he's just saying this thing because without jesus you have no principle of life mm-hmm. you might you might trust in so many things that you have mm-hmm. but at the end of it you'll end up in disappointment and there is no success without peace mm-hmm. you might have wealth but if you can't close your eyes and sleep because it's him who gives you all these things mm-hmm. you are lost yeah. so abiding in christ really means i acknowledge you mm-hmm. you are my all mm-hmm. and i live by your leadership and your principle mm-hmm. so that i can attain the goal and the destiny that you have in store for me mm-hmm. it's not about just reading the word that's part of it mm-hmm. but it's all about communion mm-hmm. i belong to this family yeah because if the lion is outside there mm-hmm. and i'm in this room and all doors are closed i'm safe at the moment the door is open and i'm outside the lion is outside there i'm not safe. Mm-hmm. same if you move out of jesus that's the end of you mm-hmm. and apart from him the protection which is the house yeah you cannot run as far as you want exactly because you what mm. this is how the principle of life works apart from jesus we might have started we might have knowledge but it is him who concentrate and launches us to our purposes because it is him who created us mm. wow this is perfect so you are there and maybe you are struggling you know we have people with challenges the challenge of prayer You cannot abide in Christ when you cannot pray. You cannot. You cannot abide in Christ when you cannot study the word of God. You cannot abide in Christ when you cannot have time to meditate. And we have one of the most thing which is stealing the time of people from God. We call it the social media and the phones. Yes, that's Because a new age distraction. Exactly. There was agent. Yeah. So, this thing you will find that you can Facebook for the whole day. But the moment you get your Bible to read and a message pops in, you just forget about the Bible. A lot of people have their Bible as a list of unused apps. It uh-huh. pops out as an unused app that needs to be deleted. Exactly. The Bible because it's not open. We can open our Facebook and WhatsApp every single hour, every single day. Mm-hmm. Most used apps, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Mm-hmm. But the list used, it's the list, top of the list used is all Exactly. most people's phone mm-hmm. so this means that this means that for you to abide in Christ your spirit man must be strong to hold to that vine who is Jesus uh, for you to stay close to God that is to be connected to the vine then there are things that you have to separate yourself from you have to deny yourself some things for you to help for them for for you to be able to connect yourself right with Christ and we are encouraging this evening or this day this hour wherever you're watching us remember one thing you cannot do anything outside Jesus but inside Jesus you can do all things for he is the one who gives you the strength mm. to do So the strength of winning your enemies, the strength of winning the challenges of life, the strength of receiving the the healing that you need, it is in Christ. Yes. That's why you find that you have people in the church and they are sick. Not that because God does not want to heal you, but because you have not been connected fully to him. And if you are connected fully to him, there are things that happens in life of men to bring glory to God. Mm. So the sickness that you might be having or the problem that you might be having might not be the end of you but might be a place or a challenge to bring forth the glory of God. Mm. So what you are battling with despite it is what ensure you remain connected to the vine. May the so- Lord bless you so much. May the Lord do you good and if there is anyone who is sick and you are watching this clip may the God of heaven who shows mercy show mercy upon your life and grant you healing in Jesus name may the Lord see you through the challenge that you are going through may the Lord come into it and bring out a glory in it 
in jesus name thank you if you have been blessed with this channel don't forget to subscribe like mm. comment and share that we may remain to be a blessing to other people not only as in kenya or where you are but to the rest of the world yeah god bless you increase in all capacity amen till next time see you the same place same vibe same christ amen, amen.